sit down somewhere? I first started skating just cause, I don't know, I was sitting in class, like right over there, just sitting there and some kids skated by, probably in like the fifth grade, some kids skated by high school kids and I just thought it was way cooler than sitting in class. <laughs> it was just something I'd much rather be doing. And uh, pretty much every kid in Meriden skated right here and I lived right there. So I would see them every single day. So that was just something, obviously, when you see older kids doing something, you want to do it, you want to emulate them and be like the cool kids. So that's what I was trying to do. All right, so KB Toy Story. Oh, that garbage can smells so bad. Dude, I'm so glad my son's <laughs> bad. Cause this is the worst. Him. All right, so yeah, my, my grandfather said he would never buy me a skateboard until I learned actual tricks because I had switched out so many sports and activities. He couldn't really afford to keep buying me different equipment for everything that I wanted to be into every other week. So I got like, I'd say probably five or six KB Toys boards with plastic trucks, plastic wheels, plastic everything. And uh, after I learned how to kickflip and maybe shove it, ride the board, showed interest in it for a while, then he finally took me to Cutting Edge and brought me an actual real professional skateboard. Can you tell me what the exact setup was? It was a blind popsicle board, I believe. It was like a James Craig graphic that had some some old gold ventures that I bought from Cameron. Shout out to Cameron. I bought those off of him with five dollars and change because I was 10 years old and I didn't have five actual dollars. So it was a blind board with some old ventures and I don't even know what wheels, probably just some wheels I took off of KB Toys board. It was a Frankenstein board but it did work. It rolled and flipped gripped did it rip it ripped <laughs> other ip sounding things no slips though no chips i don't remember any chips i don't think i did any damage to boards back then i would just skate them for like a year until there was like nothing left and you just have like a plank of wood and then you finally get your parents to buy you a new board I got a perfect Meriden Legend story that happens right here that has to do with that godforsaken four stair that I still am 24 years old now and I have not ollied that four stair. Let's see, I, uh, legendary Dana Piccarillo. He used to skate here all the time, even back in the day. Jimmy Sobel as well. And uh, it's like nighttime pretty much. And I told Dana that I'd never ollied the stairs. And this when I was like 10 years old, 11 years old. Told him I never ollied the stairs. He's like, I'll give you my board if you can ollie the stairs. And he's like, I'll give you the board to do it and everything. And it's like nighttime, so I'm like trying it. I'm mad young. And then I just get Christmas tree, boom. And that pretty much cemented it in my head that I'm never gonna ollie this four stair. So that was like one of the first stories I remember of meeting Dana and Jimmy. And now Jimmy's like, he like works for like DKNY or something and designs clothes. <laughs> Dana's still living in Meriden, he should just run for mayor. Who else? Like pretty much anyone that means anything in skateboarding in Connecticut now was here. Neil, I used to like bother Neil all the time just being a little kid, like taking his board like just running behind him all the time, doing everything he's doing. He's, he was good forever. He was good when I was that young. Who else? Cameron, who is like, all of his boys like are blown up now and skate for real companies. He started right here. Ricky, Ricky Borchard, he's another huge one that started right here. He was like the first dude to have a sponsor, like skated for Satorius in like 99. Little Zach who's like about to go to jail for three years. Uh, heroin Zach. Yeah, some people, some people's lives go a different way. <laughs> as soon as you step off the skateboard, your life goes down the drain. So just keep skating.